There is no other. In the Old Testament, Paul, there is nowhere Paul was crucified. God did not say anything about Paul. Show me no. But this Paul came and changed everything. He changed the teachings. Never changed it. I say he changed it. He did not change at all. And I'm going to prove it here. Here we go. I'm going to have to. I saw, so you have the, to I saw your salvation already. You said you believe what Paul said. God says the only Savior. Do you believe God? All right. Of course. But God says he's the only Savior. Only, the only Savior. Is this is simple, it's self explanatory. You see, now you say that Paul was teaching that the Lord done away with. Paul changed the doctrine of Christ. Acts 21 25. As touching the Gentiles which believe, we have written and, sang and concluded that they observe no such thing. In other words, Paul was not teaching that the Lord had been done away with or circumcision or no such thing, save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols and from blood and from strangled and from fornication. That's all Paul was teaching. But to come back to the law. So what you're saying doesn't make any sense, Lamin. No, 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 no. I'm preaching from the Bible. But Paul said Jesus, no. You don't understand but, no, the Bible. No, no, Paul said Jesus abolished the law in his flesh. Do you believe that? You gave no, me, yeah, you, I, gave, yeah, you gave no, me Ephesians God. and I cut you on that before. No, you know, it's all, Here it is, I've even got your name, Lamin. You gave me Ephesians 2, 15 to 18. Paul says, this, and I put Lamin there because... What did Paul say? Right? Now, this is, what, this is Paul. Right, now, what this means, it says, having abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments. This is when Christ died because Christ ushered in the new covenant. The new covenant is the Israelites are going to receive the law in their minds and their hearts. It's going to be a spiritual thing so, so that the Israelites will never sin and that they will never die. That's the covenant that Jesus ushered in. Now, it says here, Contain it wasn't right. So 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 Christ had done away with the law because physically, because the new covenant is the law in the, the Israelites' minds. Uh, the new covenant, okay. That's the new covenant. That's what, the law. what is that new covenant? It's the law. It's the Mosaic law. That's in their minds and hearts. It's the new covenant. Yes, that's the it's the Mosaic law. Okay. okay that's okay. the new covenant. Okay. Or in the ordinances. For to make in himself to one new man, so making peace. Basically, the twain coming together of the um, the new the, the twain coming together is the new law mm -hmm. and the removal of death. Christ conquered death by by living a sinless life. He conquered death. But who whose idea is that? Say Paul. This is all from Paul. Hang on, let me Read the Paul's that. epistles. I told you. And that, uh, according to Paul, and that he and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity therein. So that all that means, Lamin, the verse that you gave me is means that physically the the, the, the sin sacrifices have been done away with because the new covenant yeah. is the law imprinted in Israelites' minds and hearts, so that they would never forget it. It will be like. In their minds, that's the new covenant. So, so the law, the law of Moses, you mean? The law of Moses. Yes, yeah. it's going to be imprinted. That's what Jesus brought in. That's the new covenant. You see, the, the, see this is your own interpretation. When you go to Christians, when you go to Christians, listen to them. When you go to Christians, they got their own interpretation. I don't really deal with them. No, but they don't. That's what I'm saying. You read from the same Bible. That's the thing. We don't deal with them. They have got different concept. Simple as that. And what I'm saying, I'm astonished is that Hebrew Israelites, you see, are believing Paul. Paul was in one of the disciples of Jesus, wasn't there. So when, as you say, Jesus was preaching to the children of Israel, Paul wasn't there. So this man came and did and changed things. All right. Now, this is, this is Acts 24, 12 to 14. Because these rumors that Paul was trying to change the law, saying the Lord done away with, these were false rumors that were levered against him by Paul's accusers. Now, this is, this is Acts 24, 12, 14. 12. And they neither found me in the temple, mm -hmm. disputing with any man, mm -hmm. neither raising up the people, neither in the synagogues nor the city. Mm -hmm. So Paul's saying here mm -hmm. that he was not in the synagogues or the city, trying to raise up the people to, that, that the law has been done away with. Straight, or, eh? okay. That the law has been done away with or changed. Number 14. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. In other words, them, them, his accusers saying that Paul's trying to change the law, that the, that the Mosaic law has gone away with. So Paul's saying, neither can they prove these things that they're saying against me. Number 14. But this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, in other words, the false Paul teaching, they say that Paul's teaching the law has been done away with, 
heresy. So I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things written in the law and the prophets. So Paul wasn't trying to change the law in any way, shape, or form. This is Paul re rebuffing his, Paul, his, Paul, his accusers. You, know, Paul said, you who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You are falling away from grace. Yeah, because he's speaking to the Gentiles. The Gentiles weren't <laughs> keeping the law, planet. The Gentiles weren't keeping the law. So of course they've fallen so, away so, from so, Christ. So, 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 so he went to Gentiles now not to follow the law. But you, the Hebrews, are to follow the law. Is that what Paul meant? So, Paul, so, no, Paul. So, no, no, no. Paul was teaching the Gentiles to come back to the law. Yeah. Come back to being an Israelite. Because there were many Israelites who didn't know they were Israelites. There yeah. are many Israelites, okay, okay, Gentiles. Okay, yeah. There are many Israelites who. There, there are many Israelites who. Um, so I'm kind of nervous. Uh, We're going uh, to uh, wrap it up soon anyway. Uh, yeah. Because we, uh, yeah. Uh, there are many Israelites who were not keeping the law. We got two minutes or so. And, yeah. and, and, and the Jews, right. the Jews, they hated Israelite Gentiles. Right? So that's why they hated Paul, because Paul was trying to teach the Gentiles to come back to Christ through the law. Because many Gentiles what, what, didn't look, understand look, the look, law, look. didn't know why, the would, law. why would Paul not bring the Gentiles? Why? Say that again. Why would Paul go and preach to the Gentiles? Because they were Israelites. Gentiles were Israelites. They were Israelites. All the Gentiles. All of them were Israelites, yes. Every single Gentile. Every single Gentile. They were not, they were not, they were not, they were, they were I, not. I, I can't Gentiles are non-Jews. No, no, Non-Jews. No. Jesus said, I was sent only to the no. lost. Listen, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let me the only me verse in the up. Bible Let which said Jesus, up. when Jesus left this world, no. then then he commanded no. when Jesus was on the earth. See, what did he say? See, you're missing the point. Yeah, that's, that's why the Jews hated the Gentiles because they were Israelites who were not keeping the law. Listen, let, 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 let me broke up point. Let me let, let me clarify. Let me clarify. This, this is incredible. Back in Israel, back in Israel. We're gonna finish soon here because right? this man yeah. is going back to in Israel. Gentiles had certain meanings. You had, you had, you had, you had, you had Gentile Greeks. These were Israelites who didn't know they were Israelites, and they were calling themselves Greeks and Romans. You had Israelite Jews. Sorry, you had you had Gentile Gentile Jews, Ju Jews who were not keeping the law fully, and they were following Ro following Roman customs. Then you had Gentile heathens. These were the non-Jews. These were the other nations, like the Samaritans and so on and so forth. See, you had Israelite Gentiles and you had Gentile heathens. You have to distinguish. My glass, my glass. You have to distinguish between the two. Yeah. Okay. Go on, yeah. So Paul was teaching the Gentiles who were Israelites yeah. to come back to the law. To come back to the law. To the law. Come back to their identity. So he called it only to the Gentiles who were Israel. What about those who are not Israelites? Paul's not dealing with them. He's not dealing with He's them. Not dealing with so them. those who are not Israel, part of them, they are doomed. They're doomed. I can't believe it. That's where the Christians. <laughs> that's why the Christians. I can't get believe it. it. So that's why the no, Christians. Get twisted. Get little. Gentile. Gentile. He said, Gentile is an what, eternal name. That commonly means non-Jews according to Judaism. No, Other groups that claim Israelite herit heritage sometimes use the term to describe outsiders. The term is used by English translators for the Hebrew. Yeah? Non-Jews. 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 Well, Hebrew, uh, uh, now, one of the brothers here from African brothers, come, come, come and debate with but you. But the Gentiles but you are Israelites. Israelites, that's this is the thing, and I can prove it. Now, remember so the those who are not, those who are not part of it, they are doomed there, they're going to go to hell. Yes. So, could you show me the Bible? You know, the Bible says, prove all things. First Thessalonians 5.21. Quran said, ha to Burhana, come, show me that. I want you to show me the proof. What, what proof? What would you show you? What have you just said now? You know what he said? What have you just said? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it can't be the boy said. He said something. 
<laughs> you can't remember now. Now, now you're saying. <laughs> you say, you, you say something now. I don't want to see whether you're, you're keeping. You're, you're following the debate. No, because. See, see, see. You're, I want to see, know whether you follow the debate. See, see, you're, you're talking, no, but you're not. Um, now, you're confused because I'm telling you that the Gentiles were Israelites. Yeah. So, therefore, I, I don't need to show you anything in here. But the proof in the Bible, I said. I, don't, I said, Jesus said, I was sent only to the lost sheep, sheep of the house yeah. of Israel. And what did it? Gentiles are Israelites. No, no. So, they, so, so Jesus came for them. That's why he sent You know what, what did on, Jesus said? In the Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, let me quote it. Go nowhere, I'm on the, go nowhere, I'm on the Gentiles. Stop it, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to cut okay, you right no now. Problem. I'm going to kill this right now. We're going to fit three, three, three minutes now. Right, Acts, 20, going now. Acts 22, 21. Three minutes, because we're not, yeah, we're going to be an hour. This is Jesus speaking to Paul. It's in red writing, right? So it's not a trance. And he said, Jesus, where, where is the red? Acts 22, see red writing. Yeah. It's what? in the scriptures, it's in red writing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. And he said unto me, Depart, this is Christ speaking to Paul. Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. Guess what? Guess what? They and were guess what, guess what? Guess what he said? And he what? He said. Because Paul had Paul went on missions. Paul went to Hold Spain. On. He went he went to the Middle Show East. Me. No, look, that's a red letter Bible here. Show me now what Jesus said. Uh, come, come, red letter Bible. Let me see. Well, in my, in my what Bible, Jesus himself said. In my Bible, it's no. In the Bible, is that red letter? Everything Jesus said in red. All right. All right. Yes, red, yes. Well, you get it. Acts no, 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 no. I want it's there. You can, I want to say everything is said red. No, I've got it here. Acts twenty. No, it says it's in red. I want to know whether it's in red, so that we know whether Jesus himself said it or whether Paul said it. Did Jesus oh, said it? Paul himself. Did Jesus said that or did Paul said that? I on, I on. Okay. Oh, Good point. You've been prepared for five weeks all the way from Birmingham, Birmingham to come and debate with me. And you were ill, you're Ill prepared. <laughs> no, for five years, the man has been coming. No, you're, and, you're, you're ill prepared. No, you haven't read you're, the Bible. I can't tell. No, I can't tell you. I've read your Bible. I can't tell. Serious. I don't, I don't need to read the Bible like 24, 24 7. No, we don't say 24 7. But then you come and debate here and you haven't read your Bible. How can you debate with me? And I've read your Bible. Yes. You can't. This is the thing. We're not debating, Lamin. You, you, you got it twisted. We're, 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 have, we're in conversation. It doesn't matter. It's a debate. It's a conversation. He said you were going to show me that Paul is not a founder. Paul, that Paul did not uh, go against the teaching of Christ. He did not. You no, know, that's what I'm saying. So that's yeah. So I want to know what Jesus Himself said. All, all, all the, everything that Jesus says in red. You've been quoting from here. It's a red, red. About four verses you quoted from your hair. From here, here is here. Acts. 20, so that we know, we educate 20, each other. Maybe I may not know. Twenty-two. If it is red, it's red. 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 Depart, what is it? For I will send thee far where? There. Far mm. hence unto the Gentiles. Mm. The Gentiles were Israelites. Mm. Yeah, go on. Go on. Did you get there? There you are. There, the bomb. Yeah. See, that's Christ speaking to Paul. So it couldn't have been like a vision the way you think it is, because in red writing. So Paul saw okay. Christ. What about no? What, mm. Yes, he did. My brother, my brother. You ask anyone that when Jesus was teaching, was when he was preaching as a Messiah to the children of Israel, Paul was in there. I told you when Judas, I know, I know when that. Judas, know, according to the Bible, that. when Judas betrayed Jesus and committed suicide. The remaining 11 disciples appointed a 12th, a new 12th disciple, and that yeah. was Matthias. It was in Paul. Paul was one of them, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's the thing. Anyway, we're going to yeah, uh, right, end this debate now. Right. Anyway, it's, it's a debate. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> the brother said April is all right. Anyway, so this is the debate. Wa akra dawana, walhamdulillahi rabbi alameen. We've a long time.